Hey guys, um, I've been getting a lot of requests for information on this um, high voltage setup that I have with regards to either lighting up a 120 watt bulb or doing one wire transmissions. So um, I've decided I'm going to put together a kit um, and put it for sale on uh, my uh, fitness home supplies uh, website. Uh, if you guys are interested in one, you can either use it just as is, as a uh, really efficient light source uh, to light up uh, a 120 volt bulb in case of an emergency, or you can dissect it and uh, experiment with the uh, system that you receive. Um, it's going to consist of um, all the components that you need. Um, um, the only thing I'm trying to source for right now is a 18 to 24 volt um, battery pack that consists of mostly uh, a capacitor bank. So I'm trying to source that, but I've got everything else sourced. Um, I'm going to put it together. It's going to be about $1,000 plus shipping. Uh, that's in Canada. Um, and you can have the technology and do whatever you like with it. Um, you can do all the experiments that I have done uh, basically with it, and I'm just going to show you right now. Now keep in mind, this is just my experiment table, it's a mess. Uh, I'm gonna point, post uh, pictures of the uh, finished product and uh, um, what you will receive, um, but you'll basically receive everything but uh, the light bulb, I guess. Um, so, uh, anyways, um, here's the desk, um, there's the amp meter, and there's the light bulb, so I'm just going to turn on the uh, PWM. Now keep in mind, this is, I just turned it on, it's at its lowest setting, I can't get any lower than that. And the PWM itself does um, require one milliamp to run so and the system is using one milliamp so really it's you know i could say it's free energy but it's about as efficient as you can get like i haven't seen this anywhere else before other than you know the big boys like tesla and stuff like that but uh i haven't seen anybody light a light bulb with uh 0 0.01 of an amp with a 12 volt source so um, that's cool in itself. So you'll, you'll get that technology. Um, I will include as well the resonant rod. Um, I'll include the sliding one just so you can do experiments with it. So you can uh, tune it as you see fit. There'll be some basic um, uh, instructions that go with it to get the initial system set up. You'll receive all the wires, um, a diagram, uh, connectors, um, the resonant rods, the uh, tuning caps, and what else do we got here? And also the MOSFETs that you will need to get this thing tuned. Um, most of it will be set up when you receive it and you just basically just have to uh, screw in the connectors. But uh, So you can either use it for that, for an emergency lighting system, which I'm going to create as well and put it in a nice fancy box that you can take to a cabin or camping or whatever you need it for. Throw a, uh, you could easily just throw a um, small solar panel onto this thing during the day and it'll just light up all night for you. So it's uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting that way. Um, and you can also, if you wanna do the experiment with the, uh, this system will also allow you to um, do the one wire experiment. So I'm just gonna show you that right now. Um, I've got the LED hooked up to the one wire positive, it's hard to see, one wire positive output of the resonant rod. And you'll see that when I get hit a certain point, um, see the light comes on? That's one wire. I have the positive hooked up to the system and I have the negative just hooked up to the battery doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, it just needs um, uh, a source uh, of protons. So, you know, you can either hook it up to the positive, which is hooked up to right now, or you can switch it over and hook it up 
to the negative, or if you have a ground earth, it's obviously way better. But anyways, that's just uh, showing you the one wire transmission. I could also just take it off and bring it over here and touch it with my finger, right? The better the ground, because I'm acting as an air ground, the better the ground, the better, the better result, right? So here, let's tuck it on the rod, see if there's anything. Okay, that slowly comes on, or if you have a big, a large transformer, right? It's all kinds of things you can do with this, so. Um, yeah, that's what I'm offering at this time. It'll be about a thousand bucks. I'll put it on uh, my website. I'll put the link below, and uh, you can send me an email if you want. Uh, the one hho at uh, hotmail.com. And regardless, I'm going to start putting these kits together and uh, let you guys use them as is or do your own experimenting. So anyways, I'm pretty excited about this. I hope you guys uh, maybe can take this uh, maybe a little bit further than I can or just enjoy it as it is.